Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess and I wanted to share with you this really exciting box that I got from The Next Gardener. I will include a link down below to their website. They have some amazing succulents and really fun accessories for your plants. I've had several videos on some of their products, so I will include a link down below. Definitely go check them out. They have different deals all year long um, going on that I usually share on my social media. So if you want to stay tuned for those, definitely go give me a follow um, and give them a follow for different deals that they have. But I wanted to share this one with you, especially with Christmas coming up, because I think that this would make such a fun gift to give to somebody. Um, I do know what's in this box. I already opened them up and I already got my reaction and I filmed it and my phone didn't record it. So um, I'm just going to show you what lovely goodies are in here and we'll kind of put one together and I'll show you kind of the idea behind it. So in this box we have some really awesome little pots and so they it's like a whole set. This would be perfect for wedding favors or I guess for teachers or um, I don't know baby shower gifts anywhere where you have to do like a small favor this would be so much fun. So one of the sets comes with five little buckets and they're these little galvanized tin buckets. There are no drainage holes, but that's honestly fine. That's how I have most of my succulents. It comes with some twine and then it comes with these little cute blank tags um, that have a little punch hole that you can punch out and write a little special note. So, you know, Merry Christmas or thank you or whatever. Um, so those are going to be lots of fun. And then they also come with a little baggie of moss to kind of decorate the top with. So I'm going to have lots of fun putting these together. I think I'm going to give some away as Christmas gifts. Um, and we'll put one, we'll put one together for you now. Um, but otherwise I have a lot to do. I got two really awesome boxes of succulents and so I wanted to show you a picture of these because they are so beautiful. Every time I get succulents from them, I'm just always amazed at how gorgeous all of the succulents are. So let me just flip you around so that you can kind of see. Um, the <laughs> package did get a little bit lost in mail for a few days, but it ended up being totally fine. Even though we've had really cold temperatures, nothing is frozen. Everything is perfectly packaged. This has been several days of them sitting kind of in my um, plant room office area, kind of reheating themselves. They were cold when they got here, but nothing is frozen. And so they were all packaged super nicely. And I just want to show you how beautiful these plants are. Look at these. They're a little bit dirty. Some of the dirt did get tossed around but they are gorgeous. These are all in two inch pots. And then I have a few more over here. I love these red ones. And these ones have really frilly leaves. They're just gorgeous. These ones look kind of like a Lola. Mm. But yeah, there are 50 succulents here and I have a lot of little favors to gift up. I'm very excited. Are these not just beautiful? Okay, so I picked out a few different ones here. I think I'm going to just pop up all five of ones in the set for now. So in order to kind of fill in a little bit more soil around it, I this is their succulent soil. I love this stuff. Um, very easy, they ship. Uh, you definitely go check them out. It's some great soil. If you do have some dirt on your succulents when they arrive, you can brush them off. I wish I had a bigger, fluffier brush to use than this, but I'm just gonna kind of dump a little bit of the soil. Just kind of clean this guy out a little bit. I feel like with rooted succulents, there's very little you can do, or with rooted plants in general, in order to prevent their get, from getting dirt. Um, and transport. So we're going to take him, get a little extra soil. Probably should put some in here first. <laughs>
little bit of moss. I'm just going to kind of break this up and kind of just shove it around <clears throat> the base here. Just gives it a little extra flair. This is not necessary. It's purely decorative. However, I do suspect that putting something like this around the base of your plants would help prevent fungus gnats if that's a problem that you have. I typically don't have that problem with succulents because I do not water enough where fungus gnats would be an issue, but um, I would suppose that it would help prevent pests if that was a problem that you had. But what it will also do is if you have to transport them, it'll help the soil stay in place. So that is a bonus. Okay, so this is not pre-cut. So that is something that you'll have to do. Oh, maybe it is pre-cut. Never mind. It's just a lot longer than I expected it to be. Okay. So this is a very long piece of twine for this. So you probably can actually wrap it around several times. Okay. I'm gonna tie it there and then pause for a second and find a pin. Oh, we'll use a Sharpie. So this is them all done up. Look how gorgeous those colors are. Are those not just perfect? Look, so cute. I honestly think these would make just perfect teacher gifts this time of year. Um, or if there's any friends that you're wanting to, if you have a lot of gifts to give out, I think this is just awesome because really who doesn't want a succulent? All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I think these guys turned out so perfect and so cute. Um, and I can't wait to give some of these to my friends and family this year. Um, if you guys are interested, I will definitely include a link down below again. I'll have everything listed out, um, what you can find on their webpage. They're awesome to work with. I love their plants and their stuff. It's um, it's just amazing quality and I've never had a bad experience with it. So definitely go check them out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.